When I was about four or five years old, my parents started noticing that I was running into things a lot, stumbling, and then a specialist diagnosed me with retinitis pigmentosa, or RP for short, is a, a name given to a group of degenerative eye conditions that cause the slow degeneration of eyesight. And so growing up, there was a lot of just feeling really different and, and kind of isolated and so it becomes a choice of are you going to let yourself be isolated and are you going to kind of live a very small life and make your world very small to kind of match what you're feeling or are you going to go out and try to expand your world and make the world work for you anyhow and for me I think that point really came when my kids were little and I was actually pretty miserable. I told my husband many times um, <laughs> that I didn't like my life, um, that I was very unhappy. I stayed inside a lot. I went to some different playgroups, got rides with people, but I really longed for independence. I could like picture the image of this person that I wanted to look like and wanted to be walking down the street, just confident with her kids, being able to just just move about, be friendly, um, and I, I felt I didn't feel like I could I could be that person. And so when I was talking to my mobility instructor actually about my desire to move faster, she said, you know, you really might want to consider getting a guide dog. When my trainer brought Roja into my room at guide dog training, as soon as we started our guide work. I knew exactly why they placed us together because she had this pace that was like incredible. They called it more like a trot is what my trainer referred to it as because she just, she can move. The first time I actually grabbed the handle when she was guiding me, it felt like I was just flying because I could just move forward freely and, and quickly and confidently without having to um, hold on to anybody, without having to worry that, oh my gosh, I'm about to smack into something. I could just go and it was the most amazing feeling. Having Roja has really helped me to become more of who I am, that there's nothing that I can't do. Even right now, I am actually started homeschooling my kids. I always had thought that maybe it was something that I shouldn't do or that I couldn't do. Now that I have Roja, I'm just going for it in, in other areas too. It's like it's kind of just trickled to just all areas of my life. Like when you get confident in one area, then that kind of expands to, to the other areas. And so now I'm, I'm homeschooling my kids and we're going out um, on, on field trips and park dates and um, meeting other families. Inside, there was always this confident person that was just waiting to come out and I just needed the tools. And Roja is that tool for me. She's my mobility aid that allows me to show up in the world the way that I've always imagined I could. I am extremely grateful for Guide Dogs for the Blind. Just the amount of care and instruction and training that they've given Roja and I, I don't think that we would be the team that we are without their support. And now my kids, they're so proud of me. They're so proud of Roja. Having a guide dog has taken something that was kind of a sad topic for them. Oh, my mom's eyes, she can't drive us places. She has trouble reading to us, like things like that. And now it's like, oh, you know, because my mom can't see real well, she has a guide dog and she gets around this way. Other moms might pick me up with a car, but my mom picks me up with a dog. You know, it's just kind of one of those things that's shifted around and that they're very proud of the both of us. And that makes me feel good. Now I'm living this life that I had always wanted to live. It's just a life that, that I've created that I love and that I really enjoy. And I'm doing it with the help of a beautiful dog.